Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CybercadSolutions.com. Today in this session, I am going to explain how to draw arcs in AutoCAD. I am going to explain 5 different methods to draw arcs. In those, let us go to the first method using 3 points. Those 3 points are start point, middle point and end point. AutoCAD shortcut command for arc is A. Type A at the command prompt and press enter and if you observe at the command prompt, the prompt says specify start point of arc. I am picking over here using mouse. Then the prompt changes to specify second point of arc. I am again going to pick second point. I am picking on the graphic area like this. Then it is asking to specify end point of arc. You can directly click a end point. This is the simplest way of drawing an arc in AutoCAD using three points. Those are start, middle and end. The same command can be used with different points along a line also. Let us see how to do that one. Again, I am typing A at command prompt and press enter. Now, as AutoCAD draws any object in anti-clockwise direction, so I am taking start point on the right side. Then the second point it is asking, I am clicking in the graphic area like this, the second point. Then it is asking to specify end point, you can click over here. So this is how we can pick three points along a line. Now let us go to the second method, start point, end point and radius method. Again type A at command prompt and it is asking to specify start point. I am picking over here at the end of a line as first point. Then we have to take end point, but the command prompt says specify second point of arc, which may be middle point, but we would like to give end point. So in the arc options, there are two options, center option, end point option. We will go with end point option. To activate end, option, end point option, you can click on this option or you can type E at command prompt and press enter. Now the command prompt changes to specify end point of arc. Now I am going to pick this point as end point of arc. Then we would like to give radius, but what is it asking? Specify center point of arc, but we want to give radius. So in the options, angle, direction, radius. We have three options at the command prompt. We would like to use radius option. So to activate radius option, type R at the command prompt and press enter. Now the prompt changes to specify radius of arc. Now I am entering five units as radius and press enter. Now you can observe one arc has been drawn from given points with given radius. This is the second method using start point, end point and radius. Now let us see the third method start point, center point and included angle. So I am typing A at command prompt, type A and press enter. Now it is asking to specify start point of arc. I am picking here as start point. Then we would like to take center point. So take center option by clicking center. Then the prompt will ask specify center point of arc. I am picking this point as center point. Now earlier we have used radius option. This time we are going to use included angle which means angle option. So click on angle and prompt changes to specify included angle. I am typing 90 degrees as included angle and you can observe an arc has been run with 90 degrees angle with given start point and center point. This is the method. This is the third method with start point, center point and included angle. Now the next method start point, center point and chord length we are going to use. So some people may have doubt that what is chord length. Chord length is nothing but the distance between start point of an arc and end point of an arc. That is, let me draw a line from start point of arc and end point of arc. The length of this 
line is nothing but the chord length how to find the length of a line or distance between two points we have a command in autocad dist which means distance if you enter dist or di shortcut and press enter it will ask to pick first point now it is asking to specify first point i am clicking over here and then it is asking to specify second point i am clicking over here you can observe the distance is 14.1421 let us use the third method fourth method okay so i am erasing these two things and go to fourth method i am typing a at command prompt and press enter now it is asking start point again i am taking the same start point then we have to give center point but it is asking second point of arc we will go with the center point option i am clicking center point option now the prompt changes to specify center point now i am clicking center point here then earlier we have taken included angle option now we will take chord length option to activate chord length option we have to type l not c people may get confused because l is the capital letter given in this option otherwise you can directly click on this option click then it is asking to specify the length of chord now i am going to give 10 units as length of chord you can observe a arc has been drawn up to 10 units chord length let us check whether it is 10 units or not again i am typing di command and press enter pick the start point of the arc pick end point of arc and press enter you will get the distance between two points that is 10 units this is the way of using start point center point and chord length option method next we shall see the fifth method start point center point and end point option so again i am typing a at command prompt and pressing enter now it is asking to specify start point we are also going to use start point only so i am clicking over here then i want to take center point option so click on center and pick the center point then we have to take end point here anyway it is directly asking to specify the end point of arc so you can directly pick the end point wherever you want i am clicking on here so this is how to draw an arc using start point center point and end point these are the different methods to draw arcs in autocad but sometimes we also draw circles and trim to get the required arcs in autocad friends if you like this video please share my website link to your friends that is cybercatsolutions.com and if you have any doubts you can email to me my email id is cybercatprabhu@gmail.com thank you and welcome to the next session